Hey y'all, this is Mrs. Mignon T. Padilla and today I am going to start off this whole writing of book two video blog journal with telling you how do I stay motivated when I write my writing style how did I go from writing book one to writing book two so let's get started for those who don't know I wrote a book called The Temptation of Tatanka. It is now available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, um, basically wherever books or ebooks are sold, my book is there. Uh, I wrote this. This book um, was written, began over fi like 15 years ago, um, actually 20 years ago over 20 years ago when I first started writing this book and um, it just over the years I accumulated different scenarios aspects I was basically procrastinating because I did not uh, have the confidence I have now to even complete it but um, so it was a 15 year process and I'm determined not to have that happen with book two so I started this video journey blog um, about writing book two to help me stay motivated, to help me stay encouraged, and to basically have accountability. So um, thank you for keeping me accountable. Thank you for joining. Thank you for um, watching, liking, subscribing. Um, I greatly appreciate it. So let's get started all right so how do I when I write how do I stay motivated well um, I write differently I write um, randomly what that means is if I have something in my head at the time I could be at work I could be out driving I could be anywhere and if I have it in my head I have to get it out I have to get it out on paper I have to get it out on voice record I have to get it out of here because if I don't get it out of here it stays stuck in here and sometimes I forget so what I do is I immediately get it out so I use my voice recorder or I use one of my um, apps on my phone I use one of my apps um, I also jot down on just random things like random pieces of paper I jot it down um the random pieces of paper jot it down you pick it up jot it down um that's how I do I do I write randomly um as I was talking about book one over 15 year process over over a 15 year process it took 15 years to write it but it took an additional five for me to even get my mind right to publish it um and i have let me show you so 15 years ugh, random random writings random um thoughts that i've had and this is just like the tip of the iceberg. I have some more stuff over there in my corner, sitting in a box um, that I have been that I've been going through recently um, because I found out that I wrote some of book two, so I'm going through that right now uh, to add to this new book two that I'm um, working on. So random. Like random thoughts, random ideas that you have, write them down. Um, talk it out, whatever. Um, that is how I I get the ideas from here onto paper. Um, I like to handwrite a lot because I like to keep my penmanship up. Um, I like to. I'm an actress by nature, so I'll act out certain scenes, certain scenes. Um, on voice record that is um not those scenes no and speaking on those scenes 
So, when I write um, my, basically my intimate scenes, that's what I'm going to call them, intimate scenes, when I write the intimate scenes, how I, um, they're not just scenes that I have playing over in my head and different things like that, like a, I don't know, some type of creepy pervert. Um, what I do is I have my very own personal playlist, playlist of, um, sensual, seductive, um, baby making songs, you know, them good old school R&B, uh, songs that, you know, just, I mean, anyway, so I can show you my playlist. Or, let's see. Let me show you my playlist. Trying to get it together. Trying to get it together. So you can see it. Okay. So, I have 16 songs. 16. Can you see? How about if I unplugged it? 16 songs that I listen to. That I play. Um, over and over in my head randomly um over and over in my head over and over in um my headphones through my headphones um so that i can get a clear understanding a clear basically feel of how i want the scenes to flow how basically how would i want to be made love to to this song or how would I like to be ravished to this certain song that's just being me being honest that's how I write that's um so I put on my headphones and I just I first listen to the song I just listen to the song and then I imagine, okay, this is how this can happen, and I just go for it. Right. Right. Get it on my head. That's how I do my most intimate, intimate scenes, the love scenes. Um, how I do basically the drama, I just look at everyday life, people. Um, that's what some of us writers do. Some of our characters are based off of real people we just change the names and things like that i'm not saying mine are written off of real people just like real life scenarios real, things i've seen people do um say just uh random awkward or asinine things i've seen i add it you know so uh, and some stuff I just make up off the top of my head. What what I think, what I think would be interesting. What I think would be um, something somebody would possibly deal with that need a solution for it. Um, so that's how I write. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, um, anything you would like for me to um, address. Let me know in the comments below um, if you have any suggestions on um, how people can write. Put in the comments below what helps you. What helps you stay motivated as a writer? What um, helps you come up with your ideas? You know, I have my um, inspiration. I might share that with you. A little further down the line but we shall see um don't forget to like this video also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel my fearlessly flawed youtube channel about embracing who you are in spite of what you think are your shortcomings and becoming the great you that you are meant to be so don't forget to do that and spread the word about what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to educate 
new and existing um, writers on how to stay motivated, how to put yourself out there as a writer um, as I embark on this journey to do it myself. That's it. So thank you guys again. I love you. I appreciate you. I am Mrs. Mignon T. Padilla and I am fearlessly flawed. Peace.